back again to the OGs of the DMV. And we're here to talk about those Washington Wizards. Washington Wizards. The commanders are on a hiatus this week. So we're going to do a Washington Wizards show. I know I keep saying it, Washington Wizards. But we got a problem in Wizard Town. Let me tell you what the problem is. You tell me if y'all agree with me. We don't have a team that can strive past number six in the playoffs. We're struggling to get number seven, maybe number eight at this point. We got a rough schedule. But it's not schedule as so much it is. We don't have a closer. We have a lot of tight, tight games come down to the fourth quarter, one, two minutes left. Two points to catch up or lead. And we don't have anybody to score points. We can't count on Bill to score. We can't count on Kuzma. He's a streaky scorer. He may do it. He may not do it. But he's not a, a pure shooter. Porzingis is not aggressive enough. He can shoot, but he's erratic at times. Um, Monte Morris, DeLon Wright. Name me somebody on our team who we can just get a ball and get two points. We don't have him. I mean, Bill is the closest as far as being able to create his own shot if he doesn't dribble off his foot. So here's my idea. And I was watching, was it Locked On Wizards? I give them the credit for this one. The real head up. It may be time to blow the team up. I mean, down to the bare bones, everybody, and just start over. If all we're going to do is get to the playoffs and win one game, are we really doing anything to strive for a better team, to get a better a seed, to actually win a championship? Because is that not the thought behind every team come day one, fighting for a championship? Isn't that what we want to do? Fight for a championship? Maybe just be that time, gentlemen. I mean, I don't know who you're going to unload some of this stuff to. But it may be time just to call a joy, get below the uh, hard deck, and then let it all go, man. Drop all of it. That's what I think. I mean, I... I, I Bill at 43 million. I'm not sure he's gonna get 43 million to catch Bill, except for maybe a championship team who's, you know, maybe one or two. Porzingis is making 33. I think we can get rid of Porzingis. Uh, you know who the next the next highest person is? Will Barton, the highest paid, third highest player uh, person on the team at 14 million. 14 million. Kuzma at 13. You, you got to get these guys out of here before they have no value to us. But that is if you want to just keep going on a, on the market trying to bring in players and see if it works. Or do you just want to scrap it and start all over from the draft? Now I always talk about these boys coming out of the draft. There's one cat coming out of the draft. I believe if we go bare bottoms, we can get that number one pick. Well, it's a lottery yeah. system, you know. It's well, a lottery right. system, yeah, but you can always trade up. Just because you don't uh, hit the lottery number one, you can trade a couple first-round picks. The NBA, man, is a superstar league. So if somebody get the opportunity to draft a big uh, French-African dude that everybody's loving right now, I think they're going to take him, you know. So I think, I think. You know, he's the focus of everybody right now. Is the young 19 year old phenom, seven foot three French dude, seems to be the next Kevin Durant. So I Do think we have they, a number one on our team. Hmm? Do we have a number one option on our team? A no, no. I mean, I, Bill is the closest thing. That's why we paid him all that money. And uh, yeah. and I was still paying him money too. 
but he just hasn't looked the same. I think, you know, when the Lakers come in town, Golden State come in town, um, the Nets come did. in town, and Milwaukee comes in town, Philly come in town. <laughs> when the league come in town. <laughs> when these key, you know, the key top team, Boston come in town, the key top teams come in town, um, you know, the stadium sells out. Popcorn is sold, hot dogs are sold, um, beer is sold, t-shirts are sold. Well, they come in town anyway, no matter who we got on our team. Yeah, but I think if you want to put somewhat, of, the owner wants to put somewhat of a circus team out there that's going to at least, you know, be a good fight. So we're the know. generals. We've been the generals for 40 since, since Elvin Hayes and them, man. Come on now. We've been the generals. What, what are you talking well, we about? Had, we had some good teams. Come on now. We had some good teams. In we had the Weber team that was a decent team. We had the Agent Zero team that was decent. Wall Bill team was all right. And, and the Wall Bill team was all right. But besides those three teams, everybody else have been generals. Come on now. Manute Bowl and what was a little tiny dude? Michael Adams and we had Yugi. What's the, the tall Russian dude we had at the Dust commercials now? Oh, yeah. Him and <laughs> we had a whole bunch of clownish type people that were the generals just selling tickets. That's what the organization has been for a long time. And it's sufficient because it makes money. Obviously, it does. Because the owners don't want to just bottom totally out. They never do. We never have done that. Listen, listen. There, there isn't one team in the NBA that's losing money. Let's be honest about it. These teams don't lose money, no matter who you got on the court. The TV money is yeah, it's too much. You're not going to lose any money, no matter who you put on the, on the court. So you're telling me Houston is not losing money, man? When they no. bought them out the way they are now? They're not losing okay, money. See, They're not losing money. OKC, okay, who now is starting to build up with 10 number one picks, they're starting to get good. But OKC okay, is not losing money. They're not losing money. All right, man, hold on. Tell me. It, I, 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 I've been listening. This is the most depressing. I, if we lost about 45 viewers rest just watching y'all Bama's just <laughs> man listen first of all this is <laughs> those of you who are left <laughs> I'm about to bring y'all back we ain't gotta burn nothing down man we gotta trade we gotta be decisive on who we're gonna trade and who we're gonna get doesn't make any sense to start from zero we don't. If you're frustrated now, you're definitely going to be frustrated seven years from now. By the time we get to that point, I, I pray that we're already old guys. I pray that we're around by the time that they're good. If we burn it down, you have to look at what we have and what we don't need. Who's dead weight? Who's not dead weight? Who can, like? I agree with you. One thing you said, Deacon, was, "Hey, let's look at who's valuable and we can get some form." But burning it all the way down or whatever like that, I don't think that we have to worry about loyalty, no. But what I do feel like is 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 this, is that any and every team has an opportunity to become good at any, any given point. I don't think that we are doing our due diligence when it comes to our scouting as far as who we want. I think we got a, a organization that's looking at nice guys versus good guys, I mean, talent-wise. And when we're not, we're not, we're not getting those individuals. We, and we see that all through Washington teams. For whatever reason, we avoid the 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 guys that have the pedigree that we know we can bring in here and can do something. I thought we were all excited just last year when he did that trade, and we got all of the LA guys that came in. Our team boosted up. We we took off we were what eight no you know starting off i mean we were all excited and everything was great until we wasn't excited no more then we would like burn it down nobody can play this is what it is we always do that what we is never it? Do it we what never do it green space though where you know and i don't understand maybe other teams are slow starts those other teams that al was naming like yeah we ain't worried about the beginning of the season we only start playing around this time maybe that's what it is i don't know but what I don't see is this apathy of every time we don't get what we're undefeated, we decide to burn the team down. 
I just think that right now Kyle Kuzma sounds like they they already talking that Kyle Kuzma is probably gonna be traded before the end of the, the trade deadline. They talking about trade Kuz. Now who you want to get for Kuz? And who you gonna throw in with Kuz to get somebody good? Draft picks. That's, that's what you got to take. What you got to do? Draft what you mean? Huh? Draft pick. Draft picks. Okay. Al. Well, the problem is right that um, uh, Memphis, you know, burnt it down. And they've got, next thing you know, they, they got a number one, number one player. And now they fighting for the title. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, and we've been 30 years kind of doing what you just said, trade. Just trade one guy, trade the two guys. And kind of. Outside of Memphis, it. name another team that did that. Indiana. Indiana, twice. Indiana ain't uh, never been what Indiana. Cleveland. Indiana's, Indiana's number five right now. Indiana, huh? Indiana's number five right now. Cleveland. Get a bunch so of guys. Cleveland. No, 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 no. Cleveland. I said, got a jaw. Morant. Now Cleveland. I, I just told you Cleveland. Who Cleveland got that? That's like Ja Morant. They I mean, got two I, of them. They got the point guard and they got um, and Mid- uh, what's new? Mid- who can Cleveland. play? But ain't no Ja Morant. They got the dude from Utah that's a beast. You see him beat the Lakers the other day? He killed him. What's the dude named um, Mitchell? Um, Donovan Mitchell? No, 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 no. Yeah, Don, he, he, plays he, Cleveland. Cleveland. Yeah. Yeah, he plays for Cleveland. Yeah, he plays for Cleveland. Yeah, he's now. a Cleveland now, but he, he got traded to the Cleveland. He, but they, he, but they he, built the right. team back up with number one picks. They got nothing but number one picks on no, the No, no, no. That's what Deacon said. I asked the question. Deacon said, what did Deacon say? He said, yeah, get a draft pick. So you're saying the same thing. I'm saying that we've seen several teams burn it down and bring it back up. Now they're competing for the title. You know what I'm saying? Even Golden State, that's how they got the Splash Brothers. They burnt it down and they brought it back up. That's how they got the Splash Brothers. They were all picked by them. So So my whole point is we've seen other organizations do this while we have just did what you just said, Tracy. Trade one or two players. We trade Juwan Howard or we trade Chris Webber or we trade, you know, um, um, Butler, we trade, you know, Agent Zero, or you we know trade what I'm saying that? and we never get over the hump. We you never can I'm just you know get past that? the six seed. Why I say that? Why? Because we got nothing to offer outside of that. <laughs> Are you right? I look. I'm looking. I'm looking at the. That's roster. what I'm. No, no. All them other teams, for some reason, even a Memphis, obviously got something to offer where those players go. We Washington has is a cesspool. <laughs> oh, rest haven. We Memphis, don't have nothing to offer. Memphis trade Paul Gasson, and they got all these picks, and they've built their team up to where they got now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm with you. You know and what I'm saying? That idea. Just like New Orleans, New Orleans did the same thing. New Orleans trade the Brow. What's to do the Brow? They trade them to the Lakers. New now Orleans. they built their team up. Now, now uh, I think they New got Orleans Zion. Number, is Zion got hurt. They drafted Zion. They drafted right. Zion. Yeah. And he got hurt. But he's, he's playing there. No, but here's what I'm saying. Perception is what I'm talking about. I get everything you say is actual facts. We're concerned about right now, between the last two years, we're frustrated. I said earlier, if we're ready for the long haul, burn it down, and seven years from now, say, hey, let's analyze what we did after burning it down. And if we are competing and doing whatever, I it just took seven more years. But if they're not, this is what I'm saying, the more immediate thing, I just feel like we don't have, okay, we haven't done certain things. If, if we trade Kuzma and say we get somebody for Kuzma, okay, right, D, right, on uh, Trey Z, uh, and say we get a person equally value as Kuzma or maybe somebody less than Kuzma in a pick, that means we're not going to be on the sixth seed. We're going to be fighting for eighth seed or on the ninth seed. Would you say we... Let Kuzma go. Kuzma, our third score. If we burn it down, we're going to do the same thing. We're not going to be competing for a while. Burning it down is just that. So we're so going why to not? Be- why not? Why not trade Kuzma and Hachimura? That's what I said. I said and, and, and Bradley. Okay, and really start over. You know what I'm saying? So, so this is what I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. It's a difference, maybe understanding of what burning down looks like. Get rid of them all. Deacon said, "What are your basics? Who do you keep?" Who do you keep? Who is not going to be in that equation? Is everybody going to be in the equation or not? I mean, I think Denny should be in the equation for us to stay because nobody wants him. <laughs> nobody wants him, Deacon. I mean, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, 
I said, I don't even know how to respond to that. I don't even know how to respond to that. So, <laughs> Diddy, who else, Al? Who else stays? Diddy. Diddy who else stays with Whisper. Diddy? No, no, um, no, listen. listen. <laughs> <laughs> who's the who's the who's the guard that we pe- we drafted this year? We got we we picked great picks. Who's this guy? Johnny I'm Davis. Johnny Davis. Johnny Davis. <laughs> no, no, you got to switch. Denny and Johnny Davis. Keep, a solid. Yeah. They stay good here. <laughs> Yo, that's we, what I'm listen. talking about. Uh, we get a hot, we get a hot, we get a hot pick with them. You get you get rid of your stars, man. That's what you got to do. Cause they're not doing us any good. Together, they're not they're not doing us. They're any not good. doing us any good, Deacon. We can't win. We're 500. We're 500, Trey. I mean, we we're going to win. We are. We're 500. They are, they are good. Good. They're, good. They're good individual players. We just can't win as a team. They and don't know how to play as a team. So what is that? Is, is that talent or is that something else? That's all I'm asking. Yeah, but you can't keep going through coaches, 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 coaches. No, I'm you not saying get system you gotta I get asked you a question. Huh? I, I, no, I think, I think it's... I think it's pieces i think i think they just don't work well together it doesn't have to do with coaching that much or it doesn't have to do with whether the players are good sometimes two players don't work good with each other kuzma's best here he wasn't good with lebron you know so so so, so let me just make sure we understand i'm i'm agreeing i just want to hear to see the method man we get rid of everybody not everybody. Okay, what, say, but nobody's saying who we go to keep. I just, just told you. Diddy, I just told you. Diddy. 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 Okay, listen. You keep Denny. You keep Denny. Okay, I'm gonna give you Denny. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you Denny. I want to hear the plan. I'm gonna give you Denny because we drafted Denny, so I'm gonna give Denny some some leeway. Okay. No, don't give him leeway. No, no, because we can't. We're, get gonna, we're gonna get rid of Porzingis. But we're gonna give Denny leeway. What the hell are we talking about here, man? Because, because Porzingis can give us a back. Give us a pick. Yeah, he okay. ain't gonna give us nothing. Well, we I like that. Work. Okay, now it's starting to sound like we got a plan. So, okay, so, so I'm Porzingis looking, is I'm gonna get us a pick. I'm, I'm, getting, for a I'm pick. getting rid of Bill for a pick. I'm getting rid of Porzingis for a pick. And some and whoever they dump off on us, we can buy the contract out and throw them away if they no good. You know what I mean? Um, I want you to remember that Johnny Davis, when he first got here, everybody was excited about him. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm keeping Johnny Davis. No, no, but I just want you to understand. Okay. We, we uh, got two picks. We decided why he was in college. Did he? Listen, <laughs> that's what the draft is. We got I know, two but that's because in. we had number 10 and 13 all the time. Okay. Those are average dudes. Yes. Okay. You want to get a top five pick. Yeah, we need, yeah, we need uh, one through. So uh, let me just go through this so I can say who I'm keeping, okay? Because I, you know, when I looked at the, the list, I pulled up the Washington Wizards. Uh, Rock Nothing. You know, Thank uh, you. Uh, and, Thank and, you. And, and column, That's and, what and, I was doing. In, in the right column, it said uh, Wizards top players, and it had Taj Gibson as one of them. <laughs> Taj Gibson. <laughs> Come, on, Come on, You know, ten ten minutes, five points against the Bulls. Keep everybody we we draft. Top. You keep Rui. You keep Denny. You keep Johnny. Uh, you keep Gafford. And then you keep Gaff because he's cheap and he's, you know, he's energy wise. He's young too. So it's like his fourth, fifth year or something like that. Yeah. Uh, you keep Kispert. Okay. That's five players. That's all our picks. Right. Uh, I, I would keep uh, uh, DeLon Wright. All right. Okay. Why and whoever else. Uh, Monty Morris, it, it, I, Monty Morris is a good point guard. You know, he, he's not he's not big on points and stuff like that, but he can run the team well. I would, I'll probably get rid of uh, Will Barton because Barton has more prestige in the league as a scorer. Yeah, he does. He know. does. So and that's about it, man. You, you try to you try to get those top. Three, so you, you try to get basically saying pick. that just get rid of the big three. That's what I said. You could have just made that short. Well, I'm not keeping. Uh, you know, Taj Gibson and Anthony Gill. Yeah, because you know, they're going to go where? Huh? <laughs> they're they, going to for they them. They go home on the couch if they want. I don't care. All right, so. You go down to the Go-Go's. We, I know we got some. You got, you got uh, what's the other cat? So, wait a minute. So, the so, tall dude. So. Uh, 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 that's playing for the Go-Go's now. It comes in every night. And down there, the tall guy we thought never going to get the play time. You still got well, him. Go-Go's too. got the best G League player, the dude named Scoop Henderson. He's supposed to be the best G League player. He's the best G League player. All right. Listen. So then we're going to rock out next year or the rest of this year and going into next year. 
We're going to start Denny. We're going to, and Morris at point. We're going to bring in. Um, Kispert. No, yeah, Kispert to run. Two. And, well, Kispert's going to start because he's already started. Then we're going to bring in your boy, uh, Rui. A Rui. Mm-hmm. And then Gafford in the middle. That's gonna be our that's gonna be our squad until the drafts. And we're gonna run, run, run. <laughs> we're gonna try, we're gonna I try bet to you boys run. I bet you we'll win maybe with that squad right there, we'll win maybe 10 less games. You guys are on some serious drugs, man. I don't know what we, we probably will be 25 and 50 or something like that. And, and depending on our, our draft pick, depending on who, who we get for our number one. No, I'm talking about well, this year and, and we draft we trade them now. Oh, this, yeah, yeah. This, and this go with that lineup that Tracy just said. We probably be 25 and 50. With with that, with, with that. With a number one draft pick. With a number one pick. Not two or three of them. And then we we'll use would, some of you use some of you package some of them picks together and try to get a higher higher number one. Or you get you your one. number one and then uh package it for a higher number one. I mean, we and gotta number. get the quick quick twitch guys, man. We don't have the quick twitch guys. You know, Johnny Davis at the 10th pick, we can't get a quick tip. He's too low on the number one. He's too he was too far down. You know what I'm saying? We gotta come up to the top five to get those quick twitch guys. And we don't have them. We don't we don't have any quickness or speed. At all, That's Bill, he, like Bill is starting to get old, man. You see, he's getting injury now, injury prone, so he's starting to get old already. You know what That's what the mean? only thing that I gotta say about Bill that I was like, this, this is a bad sign. Yeah, you know? he's, he's he's starting to get old, and he's I'm sure 20, if you tell Bill, everybody plays like LeBron until you're 40 years old. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure if you tell Bill, hey, listen, we're gonna trade you to Golden State. He ain't gonna cry about it. We're gonna no. trade you to Utah. You cry about it. You know what I'm saying? If he trade him to a, a high ranking team that has a chance to be high in the playoffs and, and shoot for a championship, he ain't gonna complain. And and the people who are uh, uh, are shooting for a championship, they they throw us a number one. They throw us a number one to round out their team because they don't need it. They don't need a number one. They don't need that pick for next year. They already almost in the championship. Well, they say like throw him to Phoenix. He probably be happy to death. But the Phoenix Clippers. is not going to have a high pick, though. The Clip, but a, a number one is a number one, so you can you can package a couple number ones together to try to get a high yeah, number you one. Bring it up, yeah, yeah. Bring it up. Yeah. I know Boston was there trying to get Bill at one time. Yeah, yeah. But you know, I don't know Boston. Boston was trying to get Bill because you know his boys take him. Boston take don't him. need no Bill now. They don't need Bill now. They don't need. I don't even think the Lakers need Bill now, but the Lakers don't have no number one pick though. No, because your boy uh, DSW playing good off the bench. Yeah, he is actually. Yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think the Lakers got a better team, better record than we do now, don't they? Yeah, they're like on a ten run uh, yeah. game winning streak now. Well, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. You heard it here. We are just gonna give it. It's over. Blow it away. Don't no. want none of the, none of our squad. Ready to get rid of all of them. <laughs> Nobody survives. Send them, send them on out of here, and hold on. Whoever we don't care, we go to work into the mystery of the draft, and hope and pray that we get a twit, a quick twitch guy that's going to carry the load, put a, put the team on his shoulders, and take us to the promised land. This is hey, what this. Wall did it for a while until he got injured. Wall did it for a while. Man, y'all, y'all, y'all can't stand Wall. Y'all can't stand Bill. I know why can't. No way, so we next, can't stand Wall. The next guy that we hurt, get, he he's gonna win some games. And as soon as he stop winning, y'all gonna be ready to get rid of him too. Gogo is behind on the bench and send him on his way. We are <laughs> so frustrating. Y'all don't even hear yourselves. If we don't get a baby Jordan, if if LeBron's son don't hurry up and grow the hell up so we can get him. <laughs> we we need that kind of guy for you guys to be happy, man. Mr. Perfection, I mean, it's, it's, if you don't yeah. get Mr. Perfection, we are not going to do anything. That's how y'all feel, and, I, and I'm just- yeah. I mean, honestly, I'll be honest with you, Tracy, I take, a, I, I take a clutch guy that can hit clutch shots. I, I'll take anybody that can shoot. I just think that that's what I was saying earlier. It was like, how did this happen? How did we get all these non-shooting people? I don't understand it. I still- We just don't have that, that, that clutch gene, that clutch gene. They, we got people that can make shots. I mean, Kuz is 20 points a game. Porzingis is 20 points a game. Bill is 20 points a game until the last minute. Then we can't find a shot. That's the problem. 
Mm -hmm. I agree. So what do you do? Yeah, I, I'm just I'm waiting just, for Superman. I'm, I'm just putting an option out there. <laughs> waiting on Superman. That maybe it's time to blow it all up. So, uh, I, I mean, the boy did it in Atlanta. The boy did it in Atlanta. He took him almost to the championship just by himself. Quick, quick. Yeah, I know. What was that dude that came in here and, and scored 40 on us? That little young dude. We did, Black look, Panther. We did. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what it is. You got to get a superhero. <laughs> hey, well, unfortunately, Tracy, the NBA is a star league. You got to have... You got to no, have a top five I agree five with y'all. I'm laughing. Yeah. I'm laughing with you. Is, I mean, football, you yeah, can put... The pain. <laughs> I, yeah, because I'm like, I don't know how to predict this guy... <laughs> I don't see in, in football you can almost see the phenom. It, right. It's a different sport. You can see like this guy's going to do something in the NFL, no question. Basketball, I don't ever see that. I see guys because there there's there are guys that go to the Final Four and it's all team ball. You know what I'm saying? So you get they get mixed up, then they get on your squad and it's like, what happened to that guy that was dominating? Because he was he needed his team with him. He needed the other four guys to be good. I think I that's what Johnny so Davis was. Yeah. Many times. And Johnny and Davis was a beast in, in college. He was a beast. Johnny I, Davis didn't have a team. The only person I did see, I did see little Steph, who's this guy playing for this no-name squad that can't miss. I did right. see that. But then I then I found out, oh, his father was Dale Curry. You know, it was like, <laughs> a, it was a pedigree there. It's like, okay, that makes perfect sense. He taught him ever since the man was, you know, slobbering right out of mama. He gave him a basketball and said, shoot. And that boy can shoot. That makes sense to me. But how now many we, people got a daddy like Dale Curry? Well, we knew Iverson was a beast when he was at Georgetown. Everybody knew Iverson was a beast. I, we knew that Iverson was a good point guard, but we could name about five point guards that came out of Georgetown that were dominating just like Iverson and never did nothing in the league. Well, not like Iverson. Oh, yeah. I, Iverson, Iverson had that mentality that he was like, I shouldn't be here. Therefore, I'm going to play like uh, lights out every night. And he, he was and a he, dog. He was a dog. Yeah, he was He was the shortest junkyard dog there was. Yeah. Absolutely. And he had the skills to back it up and was yeah. and was fearless. Let's, let's, let's say this. Let's, to wrap this up, it, it may not happen. It probably won't happen. It's probably... A long shot, but blowing up the team ain't that bad of an idea. I'm just saying, it's ain't I mean, that bad of an idea if you can do it do, right. You can't do no worse, right? I, you can I do it understand. right. It's not We've done it the other way four or five times. <laughs> you know? Yeah, that, that we they, what they say. We, I we, mean, did y'all? I mean, did y'all know Jai was gonna be Jai when he was in? No, was, nobody knew what Jai was gonna be Jai until he. That's Jai. that's my point. That's my fear. My fear is because nobody likes Washington. <laughs> nobody, nobody. We no, had. Man. I don't. I don't know if y'all remember. Was it last year? It was last year, right? With Westbrooks and and Bill were trying to get somebody, somebody who was on the chopping block, and he was trying. And they were like, well, "Yo, we're trying to get the uh, 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 trying to get do uh, uh, what's called right uh, out of out of the country." Nah, they were trying to get. It was somebody. Your boy. Uh, I want to say your boy that used to play for uh, Indianapolis. Oh, George. It was. Yeah, Paul, Paul George. George. Paul George. I, yeah. I, I wanted to say him. But yeah. it was somebody that... Yeah. Hey, hey. Now, here's the funny thing. This Paul George and Bill are the same person. Then. You made that face. Paul George is not somebody you're going to go ahead and maybe get your t-shirt on or whatever. But Paul George could play when he wants to. He just is a bust in the playoffs based on, but he gets them there. We got a Westbrooks and a Bill and a Paul George together. You never know what could happen. I don't want us to get caught up in, we need these guys who I'm going to name, LeBron, Curry, and to a certain degree, uh, what's his name? PG, uh, the little one, point guard. Uh, he's getting old though. And you know certain certain individuals that are just known to put their team on their back. That's hard, especially if we're rebuilding. Unless we're going to go heavy free agency, Big Al, which which we don't do in Washington. Yeah, this is what we don't do. I mean, I, I wouldn't want to build our team on old superstars. No, no, I didn't say that. I said that if 
these guys, I'm just going by all the guys you just named were old superstars. <laughs> I'm going by individuals who are willing to come here. I name folks that are willing, not not those guys, but I'm just saying there are some guys that are gonna be older, that are gonna be, I might have two more years left in me. I will go to Washington because nobody's coming to Washington like, ooh, let's go make DC the place to be. They're not. They're that's not what, doing that. I we think if you get a Jai, though, or you get a big African, they will come. I mean, look at the big how African. Ain't, ain't nothing in Philly. It's, what's in Philly? Why is Philly better than DC? No way is Philly better than DC. But they got the big African. So your boy, the beard, wanted to play with him. You know what I'm saying? Because because they drafted the big, they drafted the big African. You know what I'm saying? That's why the beard wanted to come. So we got to draft somebody that people want to play with. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Why yeah. do you think New Orleans is a lot better? People wanted to play with Zion. You know what I'm saying? They wanted to go to play with it. So next thing you know, people was they was able to trade to get people. They had the point. They got the, the guard that they traded for to go down there and play with Zion. Now Zion, now uh, New Orleans is a top five team. Now they fighting for the West Coast championship. You know what I'm saying? So that's the key. We got to draft somebody people weren't willing to play with. We got to draft the big French dude. I'm telling you, or that dude named Hoops. They got another dude named Hoops. I forgot his name. They got another number. The number two guy is probably really good too. Be like a job, whatever you know, he's out there next year. We never know, like you say, Trey. Did you know the Greek freak was gonna be the Greek freak? Who wants to go to Milwaukee? Have you been to Milwaukee? I've been to Milwaukee before. There's nothing, nothing in Milwaukee, in Milwaukee. There's, There's nothing, nothing in, in the Milwaukee. Milwaukee. And here's There's what Greek I'm freak. saying, and and Al, that's my frustration. This is what I'm trying to get you to understand. They drafted my, the my big listen, okay. <laughs> That's my point. You got to draft them, man. Let, name our name our draft picks. Our last draft picks for the we last five years. We haven't. We we we've been unlucky. We have not drafted. <laughs> <laughs> we draft, okay. we drafted Al. them for Israel. Wow. Isaiah Todd. I said Todd. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we thought that Denny was going to be the Greek freak from Israel, but he wasn't. Hey, <laughs> hey listen. All I'm saying is 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 that. The Israel superstar. What, what the kids say? What the, the kids say? That part right there. <laughs> Look at our draft pick. Go go as far back as you can. It's up, outside a wall. Once you get the wall, after wall, you gotta say Bill. Yeah, you gotta say Bill. You gotta, you gotta say, Bill. say Bill. Good Bill. After Good wall, wall and Bill. Wall and Bill was our best pick. Then after that, it might be Kwame Brown. But look how high they were. Kwame Brown. Look how high they were. Stop Kwame Brown. He said, Brown. <laughs> I mean, I'm thinking, who do we pick that we drafted that was a you know a good player besides? Kwame, we ain't talking about you. I can't think of nobody besides Kwame. But Brown. but Bill was a high draft pick. Bill was Wall a number was three high. pick. Wall was a number one. Wall was number one. So Kwame was one. Kwame was one. Yeah, but that was Jordan though. Jordan yeah, Jack. Jordan killed Kwame. Jordan. <laughs> Jordan Jack did. I mean, that first that that. Their first two picks anyway was horrible in that draft as far as what they turned out to be. Yeah. Two, two, I think Tyson uh, Chandler was the best player in that And draft. I've been old yeah. enough to watch all of this, and you guys are wondering why I don't see it. But, okay. Oh, we drafted Juwan Howard back in our day. Did we? Yeah, we drafted Juwan know. Howard. That was the buy our next best pick. Yeah, because he did come how did we get? How did we get the Fab Five on our team? We drafted Juwan we drafted Howard Juwan and Webber Howard needed to play with him. And two years later, Webber left, it was three years after that, yeah. he left Golden State and came to Washington. Yeah, he and wanted to that, play with yeah. And that was the last time I saw people making those moves according to who was on the squad, which is why it was weird to me that when we had a wall and we had a bill, we couldn't get that third person. And when we had a bill and we had a Westbrook, we couldn't get that third person. It was always crazy. I was like, why is it that? Why is so it? So when we had Asian Zero, Asian Zero was able to recruit Butler and um, what's the other dude? Um, yeah, um, yeah, um, the other dude, um, Antoine Jameson. Right. Oh, yeah, the big yeah, they, they, they came to play because they wanted to play with Asian Zero. Right, right, and, and maybe that's the point that uh, Bill isn't a good recruit. He's not. He maybe just, not. you know, maybe he's that's not. Not. Now, now we're not. starting to bring some pieces together. No, he's definitely not. No one wants to play with him. Nobody want to play with Westbrook either. Yeah, well, nobody want to, not really that with Westbrook either. That's why they can't trade him. Yeah, Interesting. Maybe, maybe, maybe that was that. Maybe that was the more interesting uh, topic is 
why can't we get a third player in here? Although we do right now, we still ain't working it right. Yeah, so, and then once I mean, they need, to, they need to play Gafford and Porzingis more. That 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 lineup worked. I thought. Yeah, the, the two bigs down low, man, that was working. Was, well, it's just we, that we, we don't, don't have, have nobody aggressive, so I guess. But that's, see, that's, but Dick, you can't play them. pick and roll with those two big guys. Huh? It's hard to play pick and roll with those two big guys. Nah, man. Can't move Porzingis feet. don't need Porzingis don't need that space underneath, man. You put him out in the three point lane. You no, I'm saying on him. defense. I'm saying defensively is a defensive liability because you can't play pick and roll. Think about it. Porzingis can't move his feet that well. That's why Gaffer's back there to back him up. I don't know. He should be able to. I, two big dudes down the middle. Seems like that would be harder to do a pick and roll. NBA is a pick and roll defense. It's hard to play you two big guys. That seems like it would be more of a hard to do a pick and roll when you got two two big guys. Nah, down man. The all you do is step back and got a wide open three. That's why people be busting threes in our face. Well, everything <laughs> be busting threes in our face, man. <laughs> I was watching the game the other night, and I was like, yeah, these dudes don't miss. Well, everybody, when they play, is don't miss. This is there wide open. Go. There you go. So that, 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 to me, it seems like there's other things that we have to work on, but we are, uh, once again, here with the plan. Bye, big three. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers and toes crossed on our draft picks that we've been so great at. <laughs> Let's go, Wizards. Hey man, Brittany Griner is loose. They let her go. <laughs> they traded for loose. Her. They traded for her. She's back. Yeah, she's yeah, back, yeah. baby. And, and, and I want to say with all seriousness. Thank you, thank you, thank it's you. It's good to know that she is back on the state side, man. I I was worried. I didn't, I thought that, that she might have been used as a major pawn in a in a bigger game that she had nothing to do with. So it's great to see that she's back. Man, that, that that has to be an experience, man. I'm curious to know what her plans are. I know she just wants to just get back with her family. She right and, and, and hey, man, she just no more international travel for quite some time. Man, they cut her dreads off. They did all kind of stuff. I, it's it's so much probably that's going to be told to us mm-hmm. that you got to be ready for. But yeah, thank you. Thank you, Brittany yeah. Reiner's back. Hey, the def- the Washington Defenders, just saw some DMV news, Washington Defenders are back for the UFFL coming up this spring. Washington, no, DC Defenders, I'm sorry, DC Defenders are back for USFL this spring. Spring football will be here in DC. Interesting. The Maryland Terps basketball team is undefeated, 8-0, number 13 in the league in the, in the country. Mm-hmm. Maryland Terps looking good. Not enough